Hi, in this demo I will be walking you through a lift and shift migration scenario to Pure Cloud Block Store instance running on Azure by leveraging Azure Migrate and native Pure replication technology. My name is Adam Mazuz and I am a cloud solution engineer here at Pure Storage. Before we dive in into the lab environment, let's go over the whole process. First, our VM is running on VMware and configured using Vivol data stores via Pure Flash Array. On the other side, Cloud Block Store is deployed and connected to the on-prem Flash Array. So in order to migrate the VM, two paths are used here. Starting with the boot OS volume, which will be migrated via Azure Migrate. And once migration is done, a VM will be spent up with the boot volume attached. Secondly, the data volume will be replicated via pure async replication from Flash Array to Cloud Block Store. And finally, the volume will be attached to Azure VM. So let's get to it. First, we are going to have a look at our VM on-prem. The VM is running a MySQL database with a random tables and schema, which is going to be validated later after replication. Next, we move to Azure portal and navigate to Azure Migrate. It's worth mentioning that the Azure Migrate has been configured and uh, deployed with uh, our VMware uh, environment. So we will move forward and start the replication process. First, we select the virtualized environment, then select the on-premise appliance. The next step is to select the virtual machine. In our case, it's going to be DB MySQL Windows 2019. In target settings, select the properties for where the VM will be created after migration. Next, under Compute, we can rename the Azure VM and also select the Azure VM size from the list. In our case, I'm going to choose the same source VM size here and then select the OS disk, which is SCSI 00. Next, we select the disks to replicate. This is a very important step as we are going to exclude the data volume and leave only the operating system, which is the boot volume, to be replicated. With this, we finish the replication configuration and we move back to Azure Migrate to check the replication status. We can see it is still in initial sync. Once it finishes, we go and click Migrate, select our VM, and then Validate. This will take a while. We can follow the migration progress job by clicking on this notification. By the help of some video editing magic, the migration job is successfully finished and we can go to the virtual machine tab to verify our VM is up and running. And this concludes the Azure side. Now going back to on-premise to VMware, we are going to configure the replication from Flash Array to CBS by using the Your Storage plugin. The process include importing a protection group policy from the array and then assign it to the designated virtual machine by configuring only the hard disk which is includes the data volume. Once this configuration is done, the replication is going to take some time. So let's go to Cloud Block Store on Azure. First, we create a host and assign the Azure VM icon to it. Then we create a volume and copy one of the snapshots has been replicated to this volume. Select overwrite and then we go forward to connect the volume to the host. Go back to the created volume and connect to the host and this conclude the connection part. Now going back to the Azure VM and discover the target which is um, going to be the iSCSI IB for our Cloud Block Store. 
once this has been discovered, refresh and connect. Then navigate to disk management to verify that the disk has been connected. Finally, we start the MySQL database service and connect to our database instance, which are located locally, and run a simple query to verify the data has been migrated. And this concludes the video. Thank you for watching.